Hi, Zoe. We have something exciting to share with you today. We have two extra people watching Sunday school with you, Shane and Iris. So hi, Shane and Iris, and welcome. I'm Miss Linda. And I'm Mr. Andrew. And we welcome Zoe, Shane, and Iris today. Did you get to see the video? Did you like that? And did you see Joseph and his coat that had all those different colors like we learned last week? Well, we're going to, now we're going to sing. No, we're going to start with a prayer. So if you can bow your heads and we'll say our quick prayer. Zoe, you can trust God. Shane, you can trust God. Iris, you can trust God. And, and Mr. Andrew, you can trust God too. Amen. Amen. So... <clears throat> We didn't get to sing our song before the video because the video came first. So we're going to teach our song to Shane and Iris. We're following the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. We're following the Bible and all of God's love. Okay, Shane and Iris, we sing that song every week for when we do our Bible story. Okay, if you can get your papers... If BB and Mommy can help you get this paper and your stickers, we can do an activity on here. Okay. Now, Betsy and Shane, I don't think, I mean, Betsy and Sarah, I don't think that Iris and Zoe will be able to do the dot to dot unless maybe you do hand over hand with them. And probably the same thing even with Shane. But if you, if you kids can do the numbers from one to fifteen with BB and Mommy's help, and see what that makes when you connect the dots. So I will do this. <clears throat> First goes one, then goes two, then goes three, then goes four, then goes five. I bet this sounds kind of boring. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Here I am. Okay, then go six, then go seven, then goes eight, then goes nine, then goes ten, then goes eleven, then goes twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There you go. What does that look like? That looks like a present to me. Doesn't it? It looks like, like a Christmas present, doesn't it? Or a birthday present. Okay. Now take your stickers, and there's three stickers that have presents on them. Mm -hmm. And if you can put those near the things, the gifts that may be Joseph's, you can put the stickers by the gifts Joseph gave his family. Can you figure that out? Mr. Andrew will help you figure Let's that. Let's think. Do you think that Joseph gave his family a car? I don't know about a car, but I think they probably gave him a jacket. That's clothing. Do you think that they gave Joseph gave them a goldfish? No, but maybe some water. And then, uh, I don't know if he had bows, but he probably helped them with food in a wagon. Here you go. There are the presents. Okay. Hopefully you made your present and put, and put your stickers. This is what Mr. Andrews looks like. <clears throat> And if you turn it around, now you're going to need BB's help and Mommy's help for this project. I want you to put your hand down on the paper. Andrew, I'm going to do this if you want okay. to tape it. I'm Miss Linda's going to do her hand. 
And if you have a chance, because your hands are smaller, maybe you can do both your hands and have BB or mommy trace your hand. There's my look. hand. And There's I'm gonna Linda's put in the, and I'm gonna put on the bottom Linda's hand, Miss Linda's hands are helping hands. And mommy and Bibi can write on yours your name. So I'm gonna have Miss Linda. And Bibi will put Miss Bibi will put Zoe's hands are helping hands. And mommy will put Shane's hands are helping hands and Iris's hands are helping hands. Now, the next thing we're going to do is mommy should have a basket with a bandana. And Sarah and Betsy, if you could take the small fuzzy object that was in your bag and put that in the basket without the, if you can do it without the kids seeing and put a bandana on top of it so they cannot see what's inside the basket. Sarah, you may want to have Shane and Iris take turns doing theirs. So. Now see, I have a basket, but I don't have anything in my basket. But what I want you to do is put your hand under the bandana and see if you can feel what's in there. Can you feel it? Does it feel soft or does it feel hard? Does it feel nice? Once you have felt it, you can take it out and look at it. There you go. Okay, now if Sarah and Betsy can put the um, coloring object in the basket next and again, cover that up. Oh. I do have something in this one. Do we have a ball and the bandana? Okay, take your hand, reach it inside, see if you can figure what this is. I don't, Shane might be able to know what this is. I, of course, I can't even find mine. Maybe you have trouble finding yours in your basket. Okay, I got mine. Do you have yours? Look at what I have. I have a crayon. Did you have a crayon in yours too? That you can use for coloring. Okay. <clears throat> Betsy and Shane, there's a big object in the box that did not fit in the bag, a bouncing, something that bounces. Can you put that in your basket and cover it up? <laughs> okay, reach in your basket, <laughs> reach in your basket. Can now Shane might know what this is. If you can feel it without looking, can you tell what's in that basket? Zoe, maybe you and Iris know too. Okay, I have my object. Can you pull it? Let's go. Let's pull it out. <gasps> what is it? It's a I ball. have a ball. Do you have a ball? You can bounce a ball and play with a ball. Okay, and then Zoe and say, I mean, I'm okay. Betsy and Sarah, can you take the last object, which is a stuff, something stuffed? Okay, we'll go ready to take this thing out of the, the last thing out of the basket. Are you ready? Reach in. See if you can feel it. And if you can try to guess what it is. Okay, I have it. Are we ready? I'm going to count to three and we can pull it out. One, 
two, th three. I have a stuffed animal, a stuffed hippopotamus. Do you have a stuffed animal? Well, you can take, keep that and play with that, okay? When you reached in the basket, you knew that I, there, you trusted me that there was not something sharp or something that would bite you. Remember the story of the snake a couple of weeks ago? It wasn't a snake. So I wouldn't put something in there that would hurt you. And you trusted that there wasn't anything sharp in there. Well, that's we can. That's how we can feel about God, that we can always trust that God is going to be with us. Okay, the next thing I need is for you to get your wooden spoons. But before we get our wooden spoons, can I have the sticker? Um, have BB and mommy give you the sticker and you put it anywhere on your shirt or your pants or wherever it says helping hands because all of us have helping hands just like the hands you drew on your paper you can help mommy or BB with things if mommy's sad you can give mommy a hug that's helping mm. hands or if mommy asks you to do something and you help her, those are helping hands. So we all have helping hands. So you wear your sticker so you can remember that. Okay, now we're gonna take our wooden spoon because we were talking about food and how Joseph saved up all the food. I'm gonna tell you what my favorite food is. Well, I hold up my wooden spoon. Miss Linda loves cheese because I eat it on everything sandwiches and soft pretzels and pizza so cheese is my favorite food i'm going to ask mr andrew what his favorite food what is, is when my he favorite food it's turkey mr andrew's excited for thanksgiving because we get turkey that's his favorite meal yes i am so i'm going to ask shane zoe and iris to hold up your spoon and you tell BB and mommy, what your favorite food is. Okay, that's about it for today. But we're going to do one final thing and that's a prayer. So if we can bow our heads, I'm going to say something. And when it comes to you, you with BB and mommy's help can name your thing. Dear. And Zoe thanks God for Amen. And the story of baby Moses. So until then, you all have a good week, okay? We can't wait to see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.